guys, it's Postbox Part and welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the quest where you visit a llama, a fox, and a crab. Very easy to do. I'm going to show you all the locations. The first location is the fox, which we'll go through first, which is at J3. I'm just picking the fox first because it's the one I wanted to go to first. And it's a pretty cool one to show off first. So we'll go to that one. It's at J3 at the end of Whaling Woods. Now, the way this video is going to run, I'm just going to show you guys the locations on the map first and fly into it. And at the end of the video, I'll let you guys watch me explore them and stuff because I don't really want to go over it too much. I'll let you guys watch that if you want you don't have to i just want to show you the basic locations so that is the first one at j3 so we'll glide into that a little bit so you guys can see it as we go down to whaling woods it's just at the end so as you're diving into whaling woods from whichever angle you're diving in from you'll see just behind the maze if you're looking out towards the sea on the east coast there's like a little new type building type structure type thing and that's meant to be a fox it looks really nice and it's pretty detailed as well so if you fly in exactly where i'm going here depending on what angle you're coming from it may be slightly different you can get to the fox i'd recommend going inside them just to guarantee you get the challenge but I have been told that you don't have to go inside them to get the challenge You've just got to be close to them But to be honest, I went inside them just in case I can't tell you exactly if you I don't know the exact rule for that But if someone wants to leave a comment down below if you went inside or not And tell me how you guys got them That'd be pretty cool So moving on to the next one The next one we're going to be going to is the crab Now this one is actually outside of Moisty Mar. I think it's on the edge of Moisty Mar, just on the edge. It's at coordinates H10, I believe, right at the bottom of the map. It's very awesome and it's a pretty cool spot. You can actually get a chest in all of these, usually, I believe. Well, I've had a chest in this one and the llama as well. Uh, most of you will probably already know where the llama is, so that's why I've shown these two off first. So the crab is just at H10, just on the other side of Moisty Mar. So if you're coming over prison or if you're coming more on the southeast side where I'm coming or if you're coming south straight down, it's right on the edge of the map there at H10. Pretty easy to get to, not far at all. And once you're there, you can get it pretty easy you can have a little fight with people depending on the situation and stuff it looks pretty cool personally this is my favorite one because i just love the way like the arms are in the air and the eyes stick up i think this is the most like the most detailed one with like the clever structure with the pieces and stuff and it's probably my favorite one outside of Moisty Maya. I do really like this one and I would recommend going to this one other times as well. Maybe if you're looting Moisty Maya, you could land here, get the chest and then go out of here. It's pretty cool. Another cool thing about them all is you can actually edit them all, which is awesome. But moving on to the next one, the final one we're going to go to is the Lima. This one's very easy to get to and it's not hard at all. So when the bus is coming in, you depending on where you're coming in from, as you can see in this gameplay coming up right now, my bus is actually going to be coming in right above it and it's in coordinates B1. So I'm like, oh, got to move my arrow there quick. There it is at B1. You can drop straight away or depending where you're coming from. It's pretty obvious. It's just outside Junk Junction. Most of you will probably already know where this is because it's been in the game for a long time and I've seen many people land there. You can actually get a chest in there as well. I believe some other Luke spawns around there. It's a pretty awesome spot to get to. I don't really go here. I think this is like the first time I've actually ever been to it because I just didn't really see the point. There's a few pallets around it as well. We can get a good chunk of wood and stuff. So it's not bad at all to go to. And that's really it. Once you're here, you can get the challenge and get your challenge complete very quickly. I know there's been a bunch of people asking for this video. So there's the video for you guys. I'll let this guy, or well, I'll let it play through for you guys. So you can check out all three again if you don't want my commentary. If not, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, if you're new around here, stick around for some awesome content. And this is Postbox Pat, signing out.